Hello, welcome to SKR Yoga and Wellness. Thank you so much for joining me today. I have a very special class planned for you. So we are going to be doing a very gentle chair flow. So this is a really great class if you are an absolute beginner, have never done any kind of yoga or yoga-based movement before. Um, also, if you're a senior, this is a really great class to tackle. Also, if you're a dancer that's recovering from injury and just starting to get back into movement, but still need a little bit of support, the chair is there to support you. So that's another really great option. With that said, please feel free to modify anything that you need to modify. I'm gonna teach things in a lot of different stages. So if the first stage feels perfect and where you wanna stay, you don't necessarily have to progress to the more advanced version. So make this class what you need. Of course, if at any time things feel like painful in a bad way, then of course, just pull back and maybe skip that section. Very, very important. So. All you really need for this class is, of course, a chair. I would recommend having a chair without any, um, any armrests whatsoever so that you have freedom to move, something nice and sturdy, and that's pretty much everything. So once you've got your chair and we're in our comfy clothes, ready to go, you're just gonna sit with your feet flat on the floor and I want you to feel that your spine is really nice and long here. So it's really easy when we sit to kind of slouch and relax. We really disengage and let everything go. But right now I want you to feel your core engage, feel your spine up nice and tall. So from your sit bones right underneath you to the crown of your head, there's this length. And just resting your hands on top of your legs, maybe closing your eyes, just breathing deeply here. So just, feeling and acknowledging that flow of breath coming in and out through the nose. And let's start to imagine that on every inhale, your spine is growing taller. And then on every exhale, your shoulder blades are melting down your back. So we inhale, we grow taller through the spine, through each vertebrae. And we exhale, shoulder blades melt down the back. Now that doesn't mean we need to engage the muscles to pull the shoulders down. They're just naturally and easily melting and falling down the spine. So do this a few more times at your own pace. Inhale to grow, exhale to melt. And we're gonna exaggerate this motion a little bit. You can keep your eyes closed or open here, up to you. But on your inhale, you're just gonna circle the shoulders up into your ears. And then exhale, let them melt again down your back, finding a nice long neck, a nice long spine. Again here, inhale, lift the shoulders up. Exhale, let them melt down your back, twice more. Inhale up, exhale to melt. And this last one, inhale up. Exhale, melt, nice. So now we wanna feel even taller than we were when we first started. And we're gonna move into our neck here. So I'm gonna mirror you. On an inhale, again, growing even taller. Exhale, let your head fall towards the right. So right ear to right shoulder. Inhale, bring the head back to center. Exhale, let it fall towards the left. Inhale up. Exhale to the right. Last time, inhale up, exhale to the left. Now from here, inhale to center, exhale, fold to the right like we just did. And then moving at your own pace of breath, you're just gonna circle your head forward, so chin towards your chest, and then recover up to the other side. So we're making little half circles side to side here with the tilt of our head. And I'll let you go at your own pace here, just breathing normally, whatever feels natural and nice here. Nice and easy. We want to do about four rolls in total. So once you finish your final side on an inhale, pull your head back to center, feeling that nice long spine. Now from here, we're going to mimic a cat and cow like we would do on the mat on all fours, but sitting in a chair. So really feel your sit bones on the chair underneath you and then everything else growing away from it. And on an inhale, I want you to feel like there's a hook in your chest here and we're inhaling to lift up 
towards the ceiling so the heart is opening up nice and wide. We're arching a little bit through the back. And then on an exhale, your belly button pulls in and we contract, taking everything back, still staying on top of your sit bones, but curving the spine forward, shoulders on top of hips. Inhale, grow, chest up towards the sky, heart opens. Exhale, curve. And let's do two more, again, flowing at the pace and rhythm of your own breath. Really feeling that spine wake up. And sitting up nice and tall. We're gonna take our sit bones and we're gonna bring them to the edge of the chair. So just scoot yourself forward, keeping the feet right underneath you here just like we were when we were sitting a little bit further back. And again, feel your sit bones, feel that length through your spine. We're still nice and tall. On an inhale, you're gonna grow even more. And then exhale, we're gonna twist towards the right. So take your left hand on the outside of your leg and just twist around the corner. Maybe if it's accessible with your chair and if the flexibility is there, maybe you grab the back of your chair to just help deepen the twist a little bit more. Make sure you're breathing normally here. Don't hold your breath. And I want you to feel that this twist is really coming from your navel. So your hips and your legs are staying more neutral and it's just your upper body and your spine that's twisting to the side. And we'll take an exhale to release, coming back to the front. Same thing on the other side, inhale to grow and get taller. Exhale, right hand to the outside of your left leg as we twist, maybe grabbing a hold of the back of your chair Breathing deep, still feel that your belly button is pulling into your spine and even though we're twisting, we're still up nice and tall. So there's no rounding whatsoever. We're just twisting in a vertical motion. One more deep breath. And exhale, turning to face the front once more. Now from here, we're coming into a forward fold. So keep your feet exactly where they are. The soles of your feet are planted. As always, inhale to grow taller. And then on an exhale, let your chin fall towards your chest. And we're gonna curve, just like a rag doll, forward over those feet. Maybe you don't go so far. Maybe we end up here, depending on what you're, you're working on. But if you can, if the mobility's there, just let yourself fall forwards really releasing your neck and shoulders. Maybe your hands come onto the floor, or maybe they rest on your ankles or on your knees. And just allow your spine to curve and kind of dangle here. And we'll come back up, maybe using the strength of your hands to help you. And we're gonna do that once more. Inhale to grow taller. And exhale, fold forward. You can keep your legs where they are or maybe bring them out a little bit further in front of you. It's totally up to you. Doing what you need today. Again, relaxing the neck. And once again, using your hands, bringing yourself back up to a seated position. If your feet were extended, just bring them back underneath your knees so we've got 90 degrees here. You're gonna take your right knee now, pulling it up in towards your chest. And as we do this, make sure we're not slouching through the spine, but staying up nice and tall here, still right on top of those sit bones. And pull it in as close as you can to your chest, and then just circle through the ankle. My ankle here is very cracky. <laughs> it makes uh, quite a lot of noise. No pain, but uh, I'm sure that's something you can hear. Circling through that ankle, switching up the direction, remembering to sit up nice and tall through the spine. And now feel free to stay here as we go through the next foot movements or progress by extending the foot flexed out in front of you just at 90 degrees, maybe reaching the arms out to the side to feel that long spine. And we're just gonna point and flex through the foot really nice and easy. So pointing the toes forward and lifting them, flexing them back. If you're a dancer, really working through those metatarsals, work through your demi point. 
nice and easy. Last one, come to a flex, bend that knee in, cross it over your opposite thigh. So we're coming to a seated pigeon variation here. Inhale to grow tall and exhale, fold forward here, holding over those legs. Perhaps for you today, just sitting up tall in this position is enough. Otherwise, definitely take this hold, deep in that stretch. Maybe shift a little bit side to side. Do what you need here. Try to keep that right foot flex so we're protecting any torque through the knee. One more deep breath. And coming back up to a seated position, placing that right leg back down onto the floor. And maybe notice any differences or changes through that leg, um, maybe changes in circulation, that hip maybe feels a little bit more open. We're gonna go ahead and do that on the other side. So you're gonna lift your left leg up now. Again, interlace the fingers to pull it into your chest, staying up tall through the spine, shoulders down, and just circling that foot. In any direction is fine. Nice big circles to the ankle, and then maybe going the other way. Nice and easy. And again, you can stay in this position for the flex and point, or if the strength is there, extending out in front of you, arms out to the side, sit up nice and tall as we point and flex. Again, working through all of your foot here, so reaching that energy all the way out to the tips of your toes and then all the way out your heel. Let's do one more point, flex and hold, bend it in, take that flex foot over the top of your right thigh, sitting up nice and tall. Again, you can stay here if you wish. Inhale to grow, exhale to fold. And one side might feel totally different than the other. For me, this side is always much tighter, much more resistance, I find. but that's just my body. Maybe you have similar experiences. Or maybe they feel relatively the same side to side. One more deep breath here. And we'll roll back up if you were folded forward, then taking that leg, placing it back on the floor. Maybe giving them a nice shake side to side, activating those legs. We're gonna take our hips and send them back towards the middle of the chair and you're just going to take your knees and open them out to the sides. So we're basically coming to like a second position, grand plie, but with the chair underneath us, or in yoga, you would call this a goddess pose. But you do have that chair. Still try to feel that your sit bones are really connected into the chair underneath you, and we're still finding that length through the spine here, so there's no curving. If we are curving too much through the spine, maybe bringing your knees a little bit more forward will help so that you can find that length. Otherwise, opening them up to the sides, make sure your knees as well are tracking right over your toes so my feet aren't curving in an opposite direction of your knees. Everything's pointing the same direction. And then inhale again to grow taller. Exhale, you're gonna take your right hand, breathe it up and over, use the opposite elbow onto your leg. To just maybe stretch to the side here. Nice and easy, breathing normally, so don't hold your breath here now that we're in the side bend and try to feel that your opposite hip is staying on the chair so we're not lifting off, but keeping it grounded and connected. And let's inhale, use that arm circling to bring you back to center. And we're gonna exhale, go to the other side. So left arm lifts up and over. Breathing here, make sure with your elbow on your leg as well that we're not collapsing into the shoulder, but keeping space so we have a nice long neck here. And then we just add the arm up top to add a little bit of pull through the ribs and the side body, nice and easy. We inhale to come back to center once more on both sides. Exhale towards the left side, stretching through the right side of your body. Now again, you can stay here or reach that arm out behind you, coming to a little bit of a high lift up towards the ceiling. So we're twisting that arm opposite direction, just opening up through the chest a little bit. And then we'll return to that side bend before we inhale, taking everything back to center. Exhale, other side, over. Feel that space, long neck. And then opening up, breathing normally here. 
feel really wide and expansive across the chest. And then return to that side bend before we inhale. Take it all the way back to center. Now, from this position, you're going to leave your right leg extended, but we're gonna kind of readjust our hips here. So you wanna send your hip bones, so you're almost framing the back corner of the chair with your right leg um, still in that open position here. So we're still making 90 degrees. And maybe this with the knees is enough for you, or if you'd like, you can try extending that back leg out. You might need to adjust your hips a little bit more so it's comfortable here and try as best you can to get the outside edge of that foot on the floor. So we're rotating that leg and feel engagement through that leg. So we're coming to a warrior two essentially, but with the support of that chair. And maybe again, this feels like enough, or maybe we add the arms out to the side to feel nice and, nice and tall and long through the spine and through the upper body. Make sure your shoulders are not twisting towards the front, but opening towards the front of your chair so that we're completely square, shoulders on top of hips, arms reach out beside you. Take a deep breath here. And again, maybe this is enough we stay here or maybe we progress further and take it into a reverse. So taking the left arm down the leg and reaching the arm up and over. So finding another side body stretch here, getting a little bit deeper into the hips as well. Breathing. And we'll inhale. If you were in your side stretch, your reverse, take it back to warrior two. Bring your hands down, release that extended leg. And we're gonna go and do that on the other side right away. So you're gonna take your hips to the opposite corner of the chair. First set up your left leg here. So get it stationed so it feels nice and comfortable, 90 degrees, knee on top of your, your ankle. Maybe extending that back leg. Get the outside edge of that foot on the floor, sitting up nice and tall. Maybe adding the arms, squaring off the shoulders. Take a few breaths here. Feel that length and that engagement through your back leg. And then again, if it feels comfortable for you today, taking it into a reverse. Feeling that stretch through the side body feeling that openness to the chest as we gaze towards the sky, taking deep breaths. And we'll inhale, taking it back to center and bring your arms down onto the chair. Release your back leg first so that we can readjust the hips. We're coming back to the same position we started in. So your hips are towards the back of the chair. Legs are just resting in front of you, soles of the feet on the floor. And just take a moment to feel that long spine. And we're gonna take some port de bras some arm movements, just to finish off class, following the flow of your breath. So on an inhale, breathe the arms all the way up overhead. You can let them cross. And then on an exhale, we're curving the spine and the arms are gonna come forward. So this is just like that cat and cow that we started class with, but we're just adding a port de bras here. You can follow the flow of your own breath. Just try to feel as best as you can, really wide, really expansive. Let's take one more wherever you are. Big inhale and big giant exhale, let it all out. And we'll come back to a neutral position, feeling your sit bones on the chair. Feel your spine growing nice and tall from that place of connection. And maybe just closing your eyes, take a moment to notice the effects of this practice on your body. Notice how your spine feels, how your chest feels, your legs and hips. One more deep breath. We'll bring our hands together in front of our heart and bending forward. Namaste. Thank you for doing this very special chair yoga flow with me. I hope you found some value and I hope you're feeling a little bit more stretched out. Please don't forget before you go to like and subscribe. It really does a lot to help support me in what I do here on YouTube. And that is all for today. Hopefully I will see you either on the chair or on the mat again very, very soon. Bye.